guys, welcome to day 56 of Rissa's Stories and today I'm going to read you my little star. Little Fox was chasing falling leaves. Every time he caught one, another one fell. I'm going to catch them all, he panted. It might be hard to catch every one, said Daddy Fox. There are too many. Look at them all waiting to fall. Little Fox started up at the leafy branches. Trees full of leaves, he sang right up high to the top of the sky. Not quite to the top, said Daddy Fox, tickling Little Fox's nose. The sky doesn't stop there. Something goes even higher than trees. What goes higher, asked Little Fox. Bees, said Daddy Fox. Watch them. A family of bees bumbled away over the top of the trees. Bzzz, said Little Fox. I'm a bee, buzz, buzz, buzzing at the top of the sky. So, does the sky stop there? Little Fox asked. Daddy Fox whisked away a nosy bumblebee. No, not there, he said. What flies higher than the bees? Do you know? Birds go higher, shouted Little Fox. And I'm a bird flying high to the top of the sky. Little Fox landed with a bump. Bump. Is that the top? he asked. Does the sky stop there? Daddy Fox kissed him better. No, not there, he said. What goes higher than the birds but only after rain? The rainbow laughed, Little Fox. Look at me. Now I'm dancing on on the rainbow, up above all the birds and the bees and the trees. Is that the top? he asked. Does the sky stop there? Daddy Fox shook his head. Something goes higher than the rainbow, he said. What does? asked Little Fox. Tell me, Daddy. Clouds, said Daddy Fox. The clouds float high and far and look, they're showing us the way home. Little Fox watched the clouds drifting by. Let's follow them, he cried, and he set off, running and tumbling towards the den. The sun was setting by the time they reached home. Good night, son, said Little Fox. I know you go higher than the clouds, but you're not high now. That's true, said Daddy Fox. The sun is going to be just like you. It will climb high in the sky again tomorrow. Good luck. Here comes the moon to shine in its place. Little Fox watched the moon brighten overhead. I can almost touch it, he said, even though it's so high. That must be the top, Little Fox said. Does the sky stop there? No, not there, said Daddy Fox. What do you think shines even higher than the moon? And obviously you know. Little Fox looked around the darkening sky. Stars! He laughed. Ha, ha, ha. The stars shine higher. He started to count them as they turned on their lights. So many stars, he sighed. One, two, three. So many beautiful stars, agreed Daddy Fox. Little Fox yawned. So that's the top, he said. The sky stops there. No, not even there said Daddy Fox. You see, there is no top. 
The star shines down from the deep, dark, quiet space that goes on and on forever. Little Fox gazed up into the velvet darkness. He felt warm and safe with Danny Fox beside him. So the sky goes on and on forever, he whispered, sleepily. But where does it start? Danny Fox hugged him closer. The sky is just like love, he said. It goes on and on forever. And it starts right here. With my own little star. The end. I hope you enjoyed that nice story and lovely story. Um, go outside today. But it isn't really that nice out. Well, it is kind of. It's just a bit breezy. So I hope you enjoyed the story. I hope you're following me on Instagram. And, uh, and I hope you're still watching my stories. And yes, I guess I'll see you all tomorrow again, hopefully. Bye, stay safe, stay home. See you all tomorrow. Bye.